Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. It's going to be honest reviews. Um, I've just had here a tattoo machine company called Dragonhawk uh, send me one of their newest machines called the Mast Archer. Um, I've actually already opened the box and I've charged the machine up ready. Um, because I really wanted to see while I'm doing the review how long the battery will last. It is a wireless machine and they recommended this machine to me because I wanted a 3.5 stroke because that's what I normally use. I find anything lower um, it snags on the skin and uh, yeah, I don't really like them that much. 3.5 seems to be the perfect stroke and it's good for putting the ink in and how I like it. So yeah, this is what they've sent me. Um, I haven't really looked at anything else. It does come with an instructions manual in a few different languages. It explains a lot about the machine but I kind of already know what I'm looking at with that. Um, this here, here's the wire that charges it, but it is just a USB-C. So I already have that charger anyways that comes with like most phones, so that's pretty handy actually. Uh, so if I do lose that, I can charge it off anything. Um, don't know what these rubber bands are for. And it's got an Allen key. I'm guessing to take some parts to bits. Um, but yeah, I guess that's to adjust the depth, which is handy. Now these here, it comes with like these grips. There's two of them. The one's a little bit thinner than the other, I think, but I don't really know where they go or what they're for. But the machine feels really nice. Let's knock it on and see, oh, yeah, you press on and it just goes. Uh, we do have two buttons underneath and they control the volts, which I guess that's going to be just experimenting which volts that I like with it as I go. Um, because with the machine I normally use, I have a preferred volts on that. I normally set it at 11.3. What does this go up to? Let's have a look. Oh, it sounds crazy. Yeah, it goes up to 12 volts, which feels extremely powerful, to be honest. It does sound right at probably, I think I'm gonna start off even around 8.5 maybe seems it feels the vibration feels good at 8.5 um, So yeah, I've charged it up To full power 100% it says it's just literally It's gone down to 99% and then it's just literally said to me it's down to 98% so I'm curious to know how long this will last when I'm doing the tattoo like obviously I don't want it running out halfway through doing the tattoo because um, it doesn't have a spare battery or anything like that um, so yeah it looks pretty fancy it feels nice it's not even that heavy actually it feels quite a good weight um, I have tried a couple of wireless tattoo machines before um, they're okay um, but I'm quite excited to see how this one goes and how it feels. So I'll put all this stuff away. I don't need any of that now. The box is actually quite fancy. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've um, put on a little picture of a swallow. I like that picture. It looks quite easy and I've got some needles out, everything out as I normally use but I really wanted something where I could try 
a bit of lining, a bit of shading, use all the needles, kind of put this machine to the test to see how good it is and how I find it. I mean, on the website, I think it's roughly 150 to 250, depending on the styles of what machine you get. This one, I think it's coming up at like 150 pound to buy, which is so cheap for a tattoo machine. Um, the one that I use at the moment actually is like 450, so this is a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, so yeah, they sent me this to try, so I'm going to review it really honest. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. I'll zoom in the camera a bit and then you can see me working with it and exactly how I'm feeling as I use it, I guess. Right, okay. So I've wrapped the machine up. It might actually take me a few goes to figure out the best way to wrap it up and the nicest way. Um, so that's kind of why I've done it. I don't need to wrap it to do a tattoo on fake skin, but it's nice to be clean and I always keep that same thing with every tattoo that I do. Um, so yeah, I've put the liner in here. Let's turn it on, see. 8.6, we'll maybe just knock that down a little bit actually. And I want the needle hanging out quite a lot so I can see it. Um, it's actually quite weird getting used to a machine without any wires or pedals, it's so nice. I mean, that's why I'm so drawn to these. I mean, if they work and they're brilliant, the battery lasts a while. Um, yeah, I'm all for that. I mean, now especially, I'm doing a lot of tattoos on the travel, doing conventions. So to have something without wires, pedals and everything like that, obviously it's a lot more cleaner and it's, it's super handy. Right, let's give this a go. So we've got a five, no, three round liner set out here. So it is quite a small needle. Let's just see how this is. So far, the liners feel really nice. I'm not even sure how this makes a difference, but it actually feels really accurate with the needle. Yes, yeah, so far, really nice. Actually feels really sturdy and quality. I'm curious to try the shades and see how, see how they are um, with this stroke and a different machine. I am very used to the machine I use and I'm so curious to know how how this is and how different it is. Thank you. 
Now let's just try up in the vaults, see how that is. You know, it does feel like it's screaming right now. Oh yeah, that's way too fast to be honest. Let's knock it down. Yeah, 8.2 point, 8 seems really nice. I think with any machine, like, you can tell by the feel and the sound um, of how, what's going to be nice. Yeah, so far I really like this for lining. Um, not that I should be surprised or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so far really nice. To be honest, I just can't really believe how cheap they are in comparison. I mean, I'm thinking like, do they last as long? Or, um, kind of just wondering why they are a lot cheaper. because at the moment this feels as good as any other tattoo machine um, it definitely feels at the moment with the liner as nice as the one that I normally use if anything it feels a little bit more more accurate I think that is just because uh, there's no wires and no stuff attached. It just feels uh, really nice to to handle. around and then I can get these lines in I'm not even too worried about doing the tattoo like super neat I just kind of want to get the lines done and have a play around and really experiment with this machine and see what it can do
So I've tempted in all of these lines. I might even actually put a solider line around it at the end. Just then I can really test how this is with lines. Um, let's just get that a little bit closer. Now one thing I have noticed is the battery life on this is down to uh, ninety six percent already um, I hope it doesn't carry on going down that fast as obviously that wouldn't be very good yeah so I would at least expect this machine to do like a two hour tattoo um, probably more to be honest um, you know four or five hours surely that's what it would do I mean you can't be stopping halfway through a tattoo and charging it up and the wire isn't long enough to plug in and use while we're doing it Right, let's try the shader on it, see what that does. Oh yeah, so it goes quite in quite far back to be honest. Yeah, definitely as far back as it needs to be. Right, let's try some shades. That actually feels very sharp. Let's lower down these bolts. It does feel really accurate. Uh, I'll give it that. Oh yeah, that seems way better. Definitely a lot more lower volts on the shading. I mean, normally with another machine, I'll use similar volts for both, but this seems actually really, really powerful. Which is, yeah, it's pretty good for the fake skin actually, you do want it powerful, but um, on obviously real skin I wouldn't want it absolutely tearing up. Yeah, it is absolutely flying these shades in. Let's just even pull back the needle a hell of a lot more. Yeah, it's, actually it's really, it's given me a hell of a lot of give on the machine, like the needles aren't catching. Um, it seems really accurate. It does seem really, really powerful, which I did not expect. Um, but I think that's why it's so accurate. It feels more powerful and yeah, the needles are really accurate, like they're not moving. And I, I would normally think that is the needles, but actually it seems like it is the machine that's changing that. Which is, yeah, it's quite good. We want it obviously to be as accurate as we can but I definitely think quite a lower on the volts using this.
I'll tell you what, it's actually weird not having a foot pedal. I keep going to press the foot pedal. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I can see me getting used to this. It's actually really nice. Even as simple as just turning the machine, so you want your needle on the side, it feels uh, quite good to be doing that. Easy. I tell you what, it, the shades actually feel like they're going in a lot softer than anything I've ever used before. It is crazy. Right, so we're now using the round shader and try it on, we'll go with like 7.5 volts. Now this will be quite a good test for this machine because the round shader is a lot bigger needle and um, I'm curious to know how, how well it puts in this ink. Yeah, not bad. I think the thing that I like about this machine so far is that it feels accurate with the needles. And I would normally think that is a lot to do with the needles, but this machine it feels yeah accurate and nice to work with the needles so with this uh, machine company Dragonhawk they've sent me this machine to try um, I'm not sponsored by them I don't get anything from it apart from the machine which I didn't really know if I'd even want um, so yeah these reviews that honest and now I've sacked off like near enough all my sponsors. All I have now is like a discount code on uh, a tattoo suppliers which supply everything. Um, and I think that's the only thing that benefits now. Like I don't think a sponsorship's really like a real thing unless you're getting paid or you know it's not a sponsorship. So I want to try and do these reviews honestly and tell you exactly how I feel about the products and what's good and what's worth buying.
basically no bullshit reviews. onto the mag. I'm kind of just running through the needles and just trying to really put a bit of style into this as well and just have fun with it really. Um, I might actually put some heavy lines in and and just really try all the different things with the machine but so far I, I absolutely love it. It seems to be putting in the shades like like soft where I want them and the black I've, I've never really had it go as fucking black it's really nice I would say it's quite uh, it's really powerful and uh, that's like it's good but on real skin I'd be curious to see how it goes on real skin and I mean I guess you can just like lower the volts but it is very uh, very powerful which yeah I quite like it so far for like for my style and peppering in the shades rather than like rubbing uh, it's absolutely perfect I don't know what I was expecting like with this machine Ma mainly because of how cheap it is to be honest like um, I don't know yeah it's for the for the price of this machine like a hundred and fifty pound it's crazy it's almost like it's too cheap for what it is and um, I mean I don't know, how long is this machine going to last, like the other machines that I have, I've had them like for years and nothing has ever gone wrong and they're, they're roughly like four to five hundred pound I normally use an injector and this, if not, so far it feels better than the injector and that's like a, a big statement for me because I've always absolutely loved the injector machines but this feels yeah if not better so far the only thing that's concerning me is the battery life um, I'm quite picky with stuff like that if I got this machine I'd probably have two just because I wouldn't want to run out of battery um, you know if you tattoo in customers and the battery runs out that's a fucking nightmare um, and it started off at a hundred and we're at we're at ninety three percent and we've we've only done like an hour so yeah it's gone down seven percent in an hour so it, it should do with the day roughly if it carries on exactly how it is
Okay, so we've got most of the uh, bird on. I'm actually going to just try in a bit of colour for the background just to really make it pop. Um, but I just really wanted to test this machine for a bit of colour as well and and kind of just see how well it puts it in. I mean so far the machine's been absolutely brilliant so It's actually nice to uh, experiment a bit today and try stuff that I haven't done in a while and with reviewing this machine it's it's um, kind of spurred me on to do a little bit more experimenting and I'd really love to test some other machines and different products uh, just to kind of um, just to see the range of different stuff and what works better. I've mainly always stuck to um, the same machine and very similar ink, stuff that works well. Um, but yeah, trying this machine, it, it's, uh, it's actually been really good. And I'm looking forward to maybe even putting this in the mix and using it um, more in the future. I mean, there is a few things that um, I would definitely like to see with this machine over time and that's um, how long it lasts if it does start changing um, or not working as well so in the future I will, I will definitely update you guys and um, so far this has been like a two three hour tattoo and the battery is still on 90% so yeah I think it's it can be like that with some battery powered things that like you notice it goes down a lot at the start and then it's kind of stuck around 90 for a while now so yeah the battery seems really good and uh, when I did charge it up this morning it maybe only took 10 minutes uh, to get it from 80% right up to 100 so that's what it came at it was roughly I think about 80% it came so I mean also while I'm doing this I've tried to run through as much as I can while I'm using it how it's feeling but of course if you have any comments about the machine or any other product let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get back and answer as many questions as I can I'm trying the colour here just because it, it is a very different technique to the shade. It's a lot more packing in so I really wanted to just see how the machine went with using colour. But I do really like the accuracy of it. Um, it's definitely good for making things quite solid. So like with the black and especially colour. Yeah, to be honest, I'm actually struggling to find any bad points about this machine um, I mean I guess because it's cheaper maybe the motors will be cheaper and that's why it might not last as long but I can't really say that without actually until it until it does go wrong so yeah I'm really struggling to find any bad points about this machine 
it seems like a nice all rounder machine. Yeah, it's putting that colour in absolutely beautifully. Right, okay, so now we've had a go with the colour, I'm going to put some finishing details in with the liner and we're about done on this piece. Um, yeah, the machine's been absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm going to put these lines in, get things finalised and then we'll probably have a chat about how the machine has been and give it a final review. Maybe you can get some white highlights in uh, before we finish.
Right, and there we have it. We're all done with the tattoo. Um, I've tried a lot of different techniques on this tattoo, uh, some that I wouldn't even normally do, but I just really wanted to put this machine to the test, uh, make sure that like it can do anything. And I think, to be honest, it's a good all-round machine. Um, it is a little bit more on the heavy side, uh, probably more ideal for like colour um, but for me I'd love to use this uh, as and when I would use it really especially for travelling and where it comes in handy it works a lot with my style um, with the brushing technique and it puts in the ink really fast I'd say for the price it is uh, it's so cheap. I literally don't know how it is that cheap. Uh, it's a really good, it feels quality as well. It's not light. It's not even too big. Um, I think it's a good all round machine. Like I've said before, I strug I'm struggling to find anything wrong with it. Um, like even with the battery life, I thought that was going down quite quick. Um, but now I've finished the tattoo, I've done like two or three hours and it's still on 88% so I presume um, throughout the day that I'd last the whole day well I hope it would um, I do need to figure out a good way of wrapping the machine um, it doesn't come with any like covers or anything like that but that's just down to me figuring out what's best um, it's quite simple to use with just the three buttons. It's just literally up and down with the volts, the power's on or off. It kind of flicks through um, all of the stuff as I go. I mean there it's got like a timer. So I don't know how to use that. I guess that'll be in the instructions that I need to kind of look more into. But I like Everything that I use, I like it simple, easy to use. I haven't used the timer because I don't, I haven't even looked at how to use it. Um, I just literally like a nice machine that works well. And this, without all the fancy gadgets it comes with, or um, it's an ideal machine. I would definitely recommend it. Um, not even just for a beginner. I think it's a good all-round machine. It's nice to have as a backup or. I would probably recommend this for your travelling tattoo machine. Um, it's brilliant. It's really good. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. And as I said, if you have any comments, let me know down below and I'll try and get back to as many as possible. If I have missed anything or anything like that, let me know. But yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it.